to Petition 1458 in the Register of Interest for the Members of Scotland's Judiciary. This petition by Peter Cherby calls for the introduction of a Register of Interest for Members of Scotland's Judiciary, whom we last considered the petition may agree to seek further information from the Lord President and the, Judici the Judicial Complaints Reviewer. Responses have been received from both, and we also have submissions from the petitioner and a member of the public, Melanie Collins. Members will recall that in writing to the Lord President, we repeated an invitation for him to provide oral evidence, which is now indicated that he'd be willing to do. Um, and I think we to express our gratitude for that. I wonder if members have any comments or further action to take on the petition. The Lord President uh, agreed to give oral, yeah. oral evidence. Yeah. Well, that just seems... Yes, that's just very that's, that's, yeah. 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 Uh, Angus. Yes, yeah, thanks, Convener. Well, you know, having followed this petition uh, from day one, <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it was lodged in December 2012, um, and having deliberated on it for what's now over four years, it's uh, encouraging and refreshing to note that the Lord President has uh, offered to provide oral evidence uh, to the committee, given the difficulties that we had. Uh, with the previous Lord President giving evidence to this committee. So, as I say, that is extremely refreshing, and I think we should uh, take um, Lord Carroway up on his uh, offer. OK, I think we should also note that Alec Neill has expressed an interest in um, speaking to this petition, um, but is unable to be here today. So it may be that at that meeting, when the Lord President is there, he'll be able to attend... Um, that meeting, but I think Angus is right that this is a, a step forward. So, are we agreeing um, to invite the Lord President to provide oral evidence at a future meeting? Yes. yes. And then yes. we can see what comes out of that. Okay, thank you very much.